A browser is a very complex piece of software. It internally uses various models, parsers, and compilers to do the job. If you understand how the internals work, it would be trivial to understand various so-called advanced topics like in JavaScript and others. This is because we'll start to think holistically. That is, start to think like a compiler, like a parser, and so on. You will know exactly why things are working the way they are working. Okay, here is a high-level agenda. There are about 14 chapters, and in those chapters you're going to learn various parsers, engines, DOM, BOM, and so on. In general, I use tons of graphics to make complex things simple. So for example, in this slide, I show how the browser uses HTML parser to load the HTML and then create a DOM tree. And I explain all the details when we get to the chapter. Now going back to the agenda, I also cover about seven use cases with real code walkthrough. So here is an example of how that looks. This is from the events objects chapter. Here I have HTML and JavaScript code. And then I show how HTML parser passes the HTML and then interacts with JavaScript compiler and then deals with something called as an events registry and also deals with uh, something called as a rendering engine and so on and so forth. Further, I also show when an event occurs, how events manager deals with the JavaScript compiler and deals with the asynchronous functions. And here is a full list of things that we are going to go over in this course. But rest assured, by the end of this course, you will know some of the things that only top 10-20% of the engineers know and that makes them one of the top 10-20% of the engineers and gets them jobs in amazing companies.